Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today is another magazine review and we always get excited about those holiday projects. This magazine is the 2023 edition of Your Crochet Christmas. It has 78 festive patterns and ideas. Now I'm going to hold this up because it's printed so very, very small. This magazine is $9.99 in the UK, $20 in the United States, $20 in Canada, $19.95 in Australia, and $22 in NZ. So I think that might be the Netherlands. I'm not sure. So this is the magazine, and you can Google it and find this for all different prices at all different sources. Now, I picked up my copy at my local Joann's craft store. So let's go ahead and peek inside. Now, some of these I'll be able to give you the information, but the way the book is laid out, I would have to keep flipping through the pages. So this video, I'm just going to show you the patterns, and then you can decide if there's enough patterns in the magazine that you would want to purchase the magazine. Now, I'm not affiliated with any of these magazines. I just like to purchase them and give you wonderful inspiration of things that you can crochet. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside at the first pattern. So when you open up the magazine, you are going to get a sneak peek with the table of contents that's going to show you a sneak peek of some of the projects. And this little penguin just popped right out. That is so adorable, not only for holiday decorations, but for the children to play with. It's going to show you the names of the patterns and what page you can find the instructions on. Now, the first section in this magazine is called the Chunky Collection. Quick as you like, mix and match, need some present ideas, short of time, no fear, Chunky Crochet is here to give you gorgeous gifts, lickety split. So we're going to take a look over here at the first pattern and I'm just going to read what it says about the design. Now I do have a glare from my light so sorry about that. Ready in snow time. Get set to say your Christmas greetings and fond farewells wrapped in this wavy winter warmer. It'll give your coat a festive finishing touch. Now over here I'm seeing a hat and this would go perfectly with the scarf. Let's turn the page. The next two patterns on the left, you're going to see next to nothing, a short but oh so sweet necklace for a statement jewelry piece that they won't find anywhere else. Make it in their fave shades to complement an outfit. Then on this page, you're going to see bags of time. Whip up a couple of these smart carriers for those happy shoppers in your life. To be really clever, put their other presents inside it and save yourself the wrapping. Now that's a cute idea. Look at this next pattern. Absolutely love it. I'm going to have to make some of these. I really like that design. This is called Stitch in Time for all those hours spent relaxing on the sofa after a long day. This clock face style cushion can be there to keep track of the time so you don't have to bliss. Just a beautiful pattern. And over here, I see some of those chunky slippers I was talking about the other day. My feet are always cold in the winter, and I'm always looking for those nice warm slippers to put over my socks so I can stay warm. These are called Quick March. When you kick off your shoes and want to slip your feet into something more comfortable, slip your hook into yarn to make chunky, comfy slippers. So they are really cute. And I like that they used a loopy stitch here to accent the cuff. Now, I did go back to the front of the magazine because when I opened the magazine, I went directly to the table of contents but I seen this advertisement here for the West Yorkshire Spinners. Beautiful red and white Christmas blanket, and they have the free downloads. This is a Lapland Blanket Crochet Along by Anna Nika Perosky. I'm probably not saying that correctly. Sorry, Anna. This is a pre-order a yarn bundle from your local stockist. 
And remember, this is a UK magazine, so I'm sure that if you get the downloads, you can find that yarn, hopefully here in the United States through one of the international yarn suppliers. Now it says download each part for free from wyspinners.com slash cow. It has part one, part two, part three, part four. Now these crochet alongs were in the month of September and I have to remind everyone here in the U.S. we're always getting these magazines late so it takes time to come from the UK to the United States so we're usually about one or two issues behind the current issue but isn't that a gorgeous Christmas afghan and again I'll hold this up you can go right to wyspinners.com slash c-a-l to get those free downloads the next pattern is the lattice and lace scarf Shine like a diamond in Gwen's dainty scarf. You can make this scarf using one skein make. This is Sweps, I can never pronounce the name, I'm gonna get it up here, one cake of indigo plain. So it's the Sweppies Whirl, and I know I'm not saying that correctly, but that's the yarn they used. But isn't that pretty? I can see the difference of how that color is gradually changing to make that scarf. So if you're looking for a new winter scarf, that's a cute pattern. So the next pattern is a unisex pattern. It's called the Nordic Jumper. It's the Scandi scene. Whip up a stylish holiday jumper for the whole family with this fair aisle color work designed by Fran Morgan. Now I do see the sizes listed are for size small, medium, large, extra large, 2X, 3x and even 4x for this design so wonderful that it has such an array of sizes for this sweater and then i'm going to give a close-up of the back of that sweater isn't that pretty and if you don't want a sweater just use that pattern and make an afghan that would be pretty as well the next pattern is take a bow Keep cozy and warm this winter in this too cute for words hat and mitt set designed by Lucy Pollock. Isn't that cute? Now, if you don't like the bow, you can take the bow off, but it looks like simple single crochet mittens and a simple single crochet hat with a brim. Just very stylish, and you don't have to make it in red. Red is beautiful for the holidays, but you can make this to match the color of your coat, your scarf, anything you want to do. The hat measures 44 centimeters or 17 and a half inches in circumference and the mittens measure approximately 30 centimeters or 11 and three fourths inches long. Oh, this next pattern is stunning. This is the Lilac Haze, a pretty leaf inspired wrap for lacy layering by Pat Strong. This wrap measures approximately 165 by 64 centimeters or 65 inches by 25 and 1 fourth inches. And then here's a small photo of that wrap. Isn't that stunning? The next pattern is the Retro Vibes Wear Your Granny Squares with 70s inspired tank top. Now this pattern includes size 8 to 10, 12 to 14, 16 by 18, and 20 by 22. The next pattern I really thought was adorable. This is called the Falling Florals. Hook up Becca Parker's flowery fingerless mitts to keep cozy as the seasons change. So it looks sort of like a granny style square and then she put a cuff and the top for the fingers. Isn't that adorable? And I could see this in different colorways as well. Just a spectacular pattern. Now I'm gonna show a sneak peek because what I like about this magazine is it shows you step-by-step -step photos of how to put 
these fingerless mitts together. Now, if you're more of a visual learner, this is extremely helpful for someone who's never made this type of pattern before. So they do have photos in the magazine. Some are not step-by-step, -step, but they do give you photos on areas where they think you may need help. So isn't that wonderful that they do that in the magazine? The next pattern is the Cozy Toes Crochet the Gift of Comfort with Santa Torrance's Pom Pom Slippers. Now these slippers, I'm trying to look in the magazine, it does come in size 3 to 4, which is small, 5 to 6, which is medium, and 7 and 8, which is large. So three different sizes of the slippers. And then here's another photo of those slippers. They do show step-by-step -step photos to help you, and I really like this. The next pattern is called In the Moment. Rosina Northcott's Corner to Corner Cow will be your go-to project for Crochet Calm. So just a nice little cow pattern here, great for stash busting. The next pattern is a quick make. It's the Winter Warmer. Brighten up chilly mornings with Lucy's cozy hat and scarf, complete with chunky pom-poms. Now the scarf measures 20 by 156 centimeters or 8 by 61 and a half inches, excluding the pom-poms. The hat measures 59 centimeters or 23 and one-fourth inches in diameter and 22 centimeters or 8 and one-fourth inches long. Just a really cute pattern. This next pattern is Just Jade. Made for layering, this boxy jumper is perfect for exploring outdoor spaces. Now, when they say jumper, that is a sweater here in the United States. They just use a different term in the UK for a sweater. Now, the sweater sizes come in size 8 to 10, 12 to 14, 16 to 18 and 20 to 22. And then here's another photo of that sweater. Now the next pattern is Baby's First Christmas Tiddly Palm. The hat and booties combo gets a color block update from Lakeside Loops. The hat comes in size extra small, six months, small, 12 months, medium 18 months, and large 24 months. It gives the circumference. The booty sizes comes in extra small, which is six months, small 12 months, medium 18 months, and large 24 months. And again, they give those wonderful photos of how you put these designs together. Now the next design is a really cute idea where you take a plain white sweatshirt or jumper and you put crocheted appliques to form the snowman face. How festive is that? Just a cute, wonderful project that you could probably do with your child and have a lot of fun. I just thought that was really an adorable idea. The next set of projects is called Upcycled Christmas Collection. Happy Scrapmas. Whether you make gifts with scrap yarn, create reusable holiday favorites, or upcycle a pre-loved item, you'll have lots of feel good about this season. So let's start over here on the left side. These are the infinite stars. Grab all the spare yarn in your stash. It's time to put it to good use. Make as many of these star babbles as you like in as many colors as you can to place in your loved one's stocking. Now, I think they would make cute Christmas ornaments to hang on the tree. Look at these little gnomes. These are place card settings. Or you can just make the little gnome without that top piece and just use them for decoration or maybe holiday ornaments for the tree. I just thought these were so adorable. Then we have the crowning glory over here on the left side. This reusable alternate to single-use paper crowns will not only have everyone at Christmas dinner looking fabulous, but also give everyone a fun keepsake to help them remember the day. 
on the right hand side of the page, we have wrapped wisely. Your gifts will become both more sustainable and more personal when you adorn them with lovely scallop crochet ribbons and unique scrappy Christmas tree tags. So just another cute idea. And you can see that little scrappy Christmas tree right here. And then they use the little lace to wrap the package and then add a little tassel for the final touch. The next pattern in the upcycled Christmas collection is think outside the box. That's here on the left. What to do with all those lovely Christmas cards. If you have multiple of the same size, turn them into creative Christmas Eve boxes for the kids by crocheting the edges together. Now that's a really unique idea. Even if they don't match, if you cut them the same size and have different photos on each side would be nice. The next pattern here on the right is the creative crackers. Try this no waste version of the Christmas cracker at your next holiday get together. Pop a few trinkets inside and enjoy. Then put away to use next year and every year after that. So another cute idea. The next section is Hello Little One. Give a tiny arrival a warm winter welcome with bright stripes by Hannah Cross. Try the linen stitch. So isn't that an adorable little blanket? This blanket measures 80 by 105 centimeters or 31 and a half inches by 41 and 1 fourth inches. Just a cute little design. This next pattern is the one that really caught my eye. I just thought he was so festive and so adorable. Snow Baby, warm hearts with Irene Strange's fluffy penguin, complete with candy cane striped sweater. Isn't that adorable? The next pattern is a sweet tooth. Crochet up super sweet gingerbread heart, then turn it into whatever you crave. Very pretty. I could see these as ornaments. I could see a garland, anything you want to do with them. The next pattern is the twist and turns. Wrap your mind around link triple crochet with Heather's elegant cabled cushion. So this is classified as try a new stitch. This pillow measures 50 by 50 centimeters or 19 and 3 fourths by 19 and 3 fourths inches. And then I have another photo here. This one is plain and this one they added buttons across. So I really like the button accents on this one. The next pattern is called Go Green. Whether it's a pot for plants or pens, hook up this gorgeous gift. So just a cute little cover if you have a planner and you want to give maybe a Christmas poinsettia for the holidays, you can make a little crocheted cover to cover that pot. Now this measures 21 by 19 centimeters or 8 and 1 fourth by 7 and a half inches. Oh my goodness, look at this pattern. Hear me roar, made with the loop stitch. Bring a little one's bedroom walls to life with this crochet lion wall hanging. This is so adorable and children love animals and this would just be so cute hanging in your child's room. I could even see putting their name and embroidering their name across the top. Just a really cute pattern. The next pattern is the peak lounging. Bring a touch of alpine freshness into your space with Carmen's Mountain Cushions. Now these cushions, there are three different sizes since the pattern is adaptable. You can work the cushions to your desired size. Now it's not showing me the measurements of the actual cushions, but there are three different sizes. I'm not sure why they didn't list the measurements, but they're not in the magazine. The next pattern is use any yarn and make these wrap parties. They look like little ornaments that you can decorate your holiday packages. So you can see all those different little designs there. 
So here is some photos of those designs. I'm just showing this so I can read the measurements. It says the round bobble measures seven by eight centimeters or two and three fourths by three inches. The teardrop babble measures five by nine centimeters or two by three and a half inches. And the wide teardrop babble measures eight by eight centimeters or three by three inches. So here's another photo, and it just goes to show how taking a simple, plain crochet piece, adding some accents, and turning it into a spectacular ornament. The next pattern is carried away. Make sure you have essentials with you in this happy little sunburst handbag by Sarah Scales. Now this bag measures 26 by 18 centimeters or 10 and 1 fourth by 7 inches. So it has a granny square style type design. Just a cute little project. Now this is called the Magnificent Makeover. This season do your entire living room up in vibrant tones. They really pop against the snowy white neutral shades in the projects and are extra cozy thanks to fun fluffy accents. So when I turn the page, it's giving me information about the projects you just seen. So let's start up here in the top left, lit up like a Christmas tree. This oh so snuggly blanket isn't just full of bold contrasting colors. The tree is also hooked in delightfully fluffy yarn, making this project as cozy as it is cool. Cuddle up. Just a cute idea. Then down here, I'm going to hold this up a little closer. It's a very small photo, but you can see the rockin' reindeers. Drape this team of tiny fluffy-nosed reindeer anywhere in your home, and they'll deliver the Christmas spirit to everyone who drops by to visit. They look especially nice on a mantelpiece. Over on the right, we have the round and round reef. This beautiful reef is made entirely out of adorable stripy babbles. Fasten them to a wire reef and glue them in place, then attach to your door for some festive fun. Then on the left-hand side of the page, you're going to see Twinkle Twinkle plunge into this massive star-shaped cushion, complete with a super fluffy pom-pom at each point. It's bound to become the centerpiece of your sofa all throughout the festive season. Now, I think I would like this all year round. I just thought it was a really adorable pattern. On this side, look at this brightly colored Christmas stocking. This is Stocking Shamba. The traditional Christmas stocking gets a jazzy makeover with this Fair Isle style project trim with inviting fuzzy yarn. Hang it with care, then fill it with cheerful modern mini gifts. So just a cute way to bring some bright color into your holiday decor. Now the next set of patterns is the Tree Trio. Bring a touch of cuteness to Christmas with these decorations. Now these decorations measure 8 by 10 centimeters or 3 and 1 8 inches by 4 inches tall. So just really cute. I love the little Christmas tree. I love the little bear. And add a little Christmas present for the final touch. The next pattern are snowflake patterns. In a flurry, serve up a feast fit for a fairy tale with Valerie's Lacy Snowflake Table Runner. And I love the soft colors mixed with that bright white. And the table runner itself measures 120 by 25 centimeters or 47 and 7 eighths by 6 and 3 fourths inches. Are you looking for a new Christmas skirt pattern? How about the all dressed up? Every tree needs a skirt. Finish off your holiday decor with style with Paula Green's vibrant version. Add fun buttons. So I can see she has little red snowflake buttons here to close that tree skirt. Now the measurements for the tree skirt are 38 centimeters or 15 inches in circumference around the top and 40 centimeters or 15 and 3 fourths inches long. So just a cute idea for the holidays. The next pattern is coasting along. 
Rest Your Hot Chocolate on a Mug Rug for a Insta-Worthy Scene by Kelly Moore. Now the measurements for the mug rugs are 14.5 by 9 centimeters or 5 and 3 fourths by 3 and a half inches excluding the fringe. So let me get that up there so you can see it a little bit better. On the next page, we have Snow Pretty Snowflake Coasters. Even when protecting a table from hot chocolate burns, Catherine's Glittery Coasters are a winter wonder. Now these coasters measure 13 centimeters or five inches in diameter. The next pattern is the Pastel Bobbles. Sparkle and shine, whip up some last minute magic with Charlotte's Pastel Bobbles. Now these are really pretty if you want to do an old-fashioned Christmas tree with all crocheted holiday ornaments, this would be perfect. And just by changing the colors, look how pretty. So let me get that up close. And then I do like that they do those step-by-step -step illustrations to give you an idea of how to put them together. Wonderful. This is something that I am going to make this year for my tree. Now these ornaments measure eight centimeters or three and one fourth inches in diameter. Now the last pattern is, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, is it Himalay Heaven? It's a traditional Christmas decoration from her home country, and I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Here it is but just another unique crochet pattern. Now these decorations measure 17 centimeters or six and three fourths inches tall. Then in the back of the magazine, they have a fun crochet quiz. They have the diagrams and things to help you make all the patterns. They have the crochet essentials where they tell you about the stitches. Now remember, this is a UK magazine, so you have to change those terms. They show you how to do the stitches, the name of the stitches, how to check your tension article, just some really good information. And then on the back, remember this is a UK magazine, all you have to do is change the terminology when you're working on a pattern. You just look here, if it says double crochet, change it to a single crochet and just use the conversion chart to make your design. So that is my inside sneak peek and review of the 2023 edition of Your Crochet Christmas. Let me know in the comments section what was your favorite design in this magazine. I hope this video has been helpful. It's always nice to really see all the patterns in a magazine before you make that decision to buy. I hope this video has got you inspired. There was some amazing patterns in this video, but it's really all up to you of what you like to crochet and if there was enough patterns in the magazine to justify spending $20 for a pattern book. But if you take that $20 and divide it by 78 different patterns, then there is some real value here. But again, it's all up to you in the types of projects that you like to crochet. So thank you everybody for stopping by today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.